What's up guys, it's Pronade, and today's video is going to be a brand new episode of Zombie Weapon Guide, or Zombie Gun Guide, whatever you like to call it. But basically, if you're new to this series, we do quick and informative guides on weapons and zombies, because I know if you guys watch any multiplayer YouTubers like Ali A or T Martin, they do weapon guides for certain weapons in multiplayer Black Ops 3, and I really haven't seen this been done for Black Ops 3 that much, so I decided I'd make this a series for my channel. The last episode was on the KN44 Assault Rifle, if you guys would like to check that out, out. There will be a card on screen as well as a link down in the description. And guys, today's episode is going to be on the Haymaker 12 shotgun, shotgun that's featured in every single map of Black Ops 3 Zombies. So guys, if you do go on to enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video as well as subscribe if you're new for tons of Black Ops 3 Zombie videos each and every day, as well as sorry if I sound like I have a cold, that's because I do. So anyway guys, let's get into the Haymaker shotgun. The Haymaker 12 is a fully automatic shotgun that is found in the mystery box of every single Black Ops 3 Zombie map. Uh, it's of course it's 950 points because it's found in the mystery box and it has a moderate rate of fire if you are t just taking a look at all the shotguns in general this rate of fire is definitely going to be really high because this is the only fully auto shotgun which is pretty awesome it's definitely very good for you know mowing down zombies spraying and praying so the fire rate is definitely a plus to this weapon the recoil doesn't really matter you know usually if, if it's like an SMG or an assault rifle I run over the recoil but because it's a shotgun you're gonna be hip firing most of the time so recoil doesn't matter too much the reload time is moderate at least in my opinion I don't think that it's too bad it's definitely not as fast as like an SMG or something but it isn't a super bad reload time slap on some of the attachments and perks that I say later in this video and you will be doing fine with your reload overall the handling of this weapon isn't too bad it's definitely a pretty solid gun for handling the fire rate definitely is pretty helpful compared to the other shotguns now for the ammo of this weapon you got 16 shots in the clip and 64 in reserve and this is talking about it unpack punch now this gun is best used when you're killing zombies to get them out of your way like say you're trying to get through a certain area maybe you're trying to get some perks back maybe you've just downed and you're trying to get to your jug you've got some zombies in your way to get to jug you just spray them down with the haymaker and you're good to go the haymaker is definitely a powerhouse of the weapon the damage is very high for this thing and so that is probably the best way it's used it's also amazing killing bosses you know on high rounds this is the only way you're gonna be able to take down the panzer under ice Drock, as well as it's very good against the Margo and Shadows of Evil. So guys, that is how you are going to want to use this weapon. Now let's move into the Pack Punch variant of the Haymaker 12. Now Pack Punch, it becomes the Shoe Shining 100. It gets a higher damage. The ammo is increased to 25 shots in the clip and 125 in reserve. And also, instead of just shooting the zombies, you know, normally it doesn't just shoot bullets. This thing now, it shoots almost like fire. The zombies get vaporized and incinerated when you shoot them. So it's definitely a really cool effect to the weapon it doesn't really do anything statistically but just this little animation looks really cool and it just you know it vaporizes the zombies they just turn into a pool of blood which is pretty awesome as well as like I said before the damage is definitely increased by a ton this thing is going to be pretty viable with double tap and pack punch up until the late 30s I bet and you know it'll definitely be your only way to kill the panzer probably without the Ragnarok DG4 or the death ray on high rounds so guys that is going to be it for the pack punch version now let's move into the best setup for the haymaker 12 this is going to be looking at the attachments perks gobble gum all that kind of stuff to make you optimize your haymaker so for the attachments you're going to want to use i'm going to recommend fast mags rapid fire laser sight long barrel quick draw and then for your optic i would say the iron sights are pretty good and i think i actually prefer to use them but if you want an elo sight or even a red dot sight that will work just fine now moving into the perks you're going to want juggernog double tap 2.0 speed cola and widow's wine now for widow's wine you can kind of change that out for whatever you want it doesn't really matter that much i mean you could even go for dead shot if you want because it uh, increases the hip fire spread or i guess decreases the hip fire spread so that is going to be nice for a shotgun the third perk doesn't really matter all that matters really is that you make sure you have double tap 2 and speed cola as well as juggernaut if you want to survive and finally moving down into the gumballs for this class you're going to want in plain sight cash back stock option alchemical antithesis and I only put four on there because you really don't need a fifth one. I mean, you can really put whatever you want for the fifth one. The reason I included Cashback and Alchemical Antithesis is because this thing runs through ammo very quickly, even though it has 150 shots pack punched. For a shotgun, you know, it's a fully auto shotgun. You're going to burn through that ammo very quickly. That's probably the only real downside of this weapon. So definitely, I would recommend either of those gumballs as well as stock options. It's just kind of nice if you're spraying down zombies, 
maybe you're camping on the catwalk on the giant you know just spray down the zombies using a stock option and you're going to be good to go and then finally what did i say from in plain sight in plain sight is going to be great i don't know it's just kind of a standard gobble gum that you can have on any of your classes and then for a fifth gobble gum you know maybe you wanted to do like an unquenchable a perkaholic something like that guys anyway that is going to be it for this class i hope you guys did enjoy this video um make sure to drop a like on it if you did and want to see more zombie weapon guys in the future you know let me know your thoughts on the haymaker down in the comments below as well as what weapon do you want to see next in the next episode i think the next episode if i don't mistake myself which i probably am it'll probably be the vmp smg so guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new my name is pronade and i'll see you all in the next one